This is my uh, review of the uh, new Lord of Battles uh, Red Sword, um, for one of the more imaginative name. Uh, this is um, a, a single hand sword, obviously, and what I want to do is just go through it briefly with you. Um, this is a uh, 13th to 15th century um, cut and thrust sword, um, loosely based on a uh, poke shot blade topography type 18, and I'll cover that in a bit more detail in a minute. And I'll start with the sword and I'll start with the scabbard first of all. So the scabbard's really nice. It comes, it's a, you can see in here, it's a, uh, you can see in the video, but it's a, it's a wood scabbard, wooden core scabbard, with leather on the outside. And the leather scabbard, um, you know, it's covered in red, very nice leather. Stitching of the scabbard is very good. It's got this, um, Three kinds of dragons or wyverns down the side here, um, bit of um, decoration. And it's got some nice little, uh, you know, form bridges here at the uh, scabbard end. Uh, got a rather plain and simple belt, which is uh, black with a fairly modern looking buckle, and it's sort of wrapped, sort of like it was was in the Middle Ages. So it hangs from the hip quite nicely, although this is not a historically pattern scabbard. Uh, could be made to be quite a nice scabbard if you uh, remove the belt. Um, not sure about the design here. Um, I'd rather see it plain so you could actually add uh, prison decoration to it. But you know, apart from the slight fancy aspect to it, it's a very well made scabbard and a very functional scabbard. Moving on to the sword itself, um, as I said earlier, this is a um, you know, probably mid to late 13th century into early 15th century, maybe a bit further uh, into the 15th century. Uh, it's a simple, um, simple handed sword uh, with a nice wide, broad um, base of the blade, tapering into a very fine tip, which you see up here. The blade itself is about 70 centimetres long, the length of the sword is about 90, and the weight is about 1.3 kilograms. As I said earlier, this type of sword um, cut and thrust, so it's designed to mainly thrust through gaps in armour, so it's a really nice sword, it feels really good. Um, centre of weight's down about here, just to slightly forward of the cross guard, so it bounces really well, and as a result it's really fast in the hand, it's a really nice sword. Um, yep, so this is one sword that I'll be very happy to use myself, uh, either from horseback or in sword and buckler play. Um, you know, as I said, it's just a really you know, much better than the uh, old sorts we used to get from you know, commercial, commercial suppliers 10 15 years ago. This is almost, you know, this is basically custom blade quality, so it's very well made, uh, made from EM45 carbon steel, tempered at a lot more hardness. So the hardness is about 52 to 55, which is pretty standard for you know, reading out for swords. So it'll hold its, um, you know, hold the uh, blunt edge very well, it won't chip that much. Um, especially if you don't do blade on blade contact, which is a big no-no anyway. But this sword, will, you know, it's a chunky sword. It's light and fast, well balanced, and really good for somebody who wants to be, you know, um, quick, fast fighter. Who just wants to move fast and um, you know deliver some, you know, kind of thrust strikes. My only caveat with the sword is that the blade here, the tip, is very sharp. So this is one sword which um, I'm not sure, at least in New Zealand. Um, if it meets um, most of the uh, general combat rules require a rounded off tip. So this sword itself would probably not be legal in most of the other clubs in New Zealand. Um, you have to be very careful. Um, probably okay in HEMA groups like I run, but general enactment group, you'd be hard pressed to get this past the club captain. So you may have to round it off a little bit, which means unfortunately shorten your blade. Um, I'd like to see a, a version of this sword with a rounded tip. Um, for the uh, general rehab market, but you know, this is a really nice sword and it's a very accurate blade type. So, yeah, so that's it. This is the uh, Lord of Battles Red Sword.